Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a subscriber. Today I'm going to teach you how to make these adorable little Shaun the Sheep clothespin ornaments. They're really easy to make. It's a fun project. If you have kids, you can have your kids make them. And um, yeah, Shaun the Sheep holds a special place in my heart because my oldest boy, when he was about four or five, was really into Shaun the Sheep. Like, everything had to be about Shaun the Sheep. And uh, he called himself Shaun, and I had to either be Timmy or Shirley. And they're just some really fond memories. So yeah, that's why he's special to me. I hope you enjoy the video and that you try making your own little Shaun the Sheep. For supplies you'll need one clothespin, tacky glue, black acrylic paint, glue gun and some hot glue, two to three cotton balls, two googly eyes, and two one inch squares of felt, and a paintbrush, and six inches of one fourth inch black ribbon. The first thing you want to do is coat your clothespin with black paint. Be sure that you give an even coat and paint between the legs and go ahead and paint the whole head of the clothespin too. The next thing you want to do is take your ribbon and here I have six inches and you tie a knot in the middle of the ribbon and that's kind of like his hoofs that are holding together. Just like that. And now you need to use your hot glue gun and glue the ribbon to your clothespin so that he is holding his hoofs above his head. Now you want to take tacky glue or Elmer's glue might work. I don't know. I just use tacky glue because that's what I had on hand. Um, and you do it from the legs to the bottom of the neck. Give it a nice, pretty thick coat. Um, of glue and I'm using the tacky glue because it will stick to the wood and it'll also kind of get absorbed by the cotton. Take a pulled up piece of cotton ball and go ahead and stick it to your Sean covering his body from the legs to the top of the neck. Don't worry about getting in between the arms and the head. Um, that's not really a big deal if he doesn't have cotton there. Uh, you can also go back and add more glue if it's not glued down all the way. Now you take your one inch squares of felt. Um, here I'm doing the ears first, so I cut my square in half. And I'm going to go ahead and cut little ears. And they're almost in a teardrop shape, but they're still flat on the top. So there's one ear. And I'm going to cut the second ear. Now you want to go ahead and take your second one inch square and you're going to make his head or his face. So it's similar to the ears, it's wider at the bottom and a little bit narrow at the top. All right. Now I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue the little googly eyes to Sean's face. Like that. Now you need to glue Sean's face onto his body. Sorry, this is out of the frame a little bit, but I just put a little bit of glue at the very top, and you just need one little line and press it to his head. All right, and once his face is glued on, you wanna take your ears and just put a little dollop of glue and place it on the side of his head like so. And it's okay if the glue comes up on the top. You're just going to be covering that with cotton anyways. So, yep, just a little dollop and glue it on. All right, now you want to get your tacky glue or Elmer's glue or whatever you're using. And you put glue on the very top of his head to give him his signature fluff. Make sure it's glued down and your Sean is done. Here you go. Here is Sean the Sheep, my favorite clothespin project. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and um, 
subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.